Capital murder charges have been filed against the lone suspect in the Audrey Cunningham case hours after her body was found in the Trinity River. A heartbreaking end to the six day search for the 11 year old. Fox 26 is Shelby Rose joins us live this morning uh, outside the Polk County Jail with these latest developments. Shelby, good morning. Good morning. Yes, that capital murder charge just dropped within the last couple hours, but we have yet to receive word of when Don McDougal will have his first appearance before a judge. These charges announced, as you said, just hours after the body of 11 year old Audrey Cunningham was found in the Trinity River near Highway 59 yesterday afternoon. The sheriff considering it a multi agency effort, noting the FBI, Texas Rangers, Harris, Liberty and San Jacinto counties, among others but wouldn't say which agency is responsible for finding her. Although we do know a big factor in this was the Trinity River Authority. They lowered water levels so the dive teams could reach certain areas. And as for a cause of death, that's still undetermined. The Polk County Sheriff's Office says they are waiting on the official report from the medical examiner to release that information. But Sheriff Byron Lyons considers the evidence they've gathered against McDougal as substantial, noting cell phone analysis and videos they've been able to collect and information they've received from McDougal himself himself, but he wouldn't go into specifics. And right now, folks, when it start, we start talking about how we linking evidence to McDougal and linking evidence to um, this case, we want to be very careful on how we do that. Um, I, w I would feel safe this, to say this is that there is substantial evidence through the evidence that we've gathered, and some of that evidence was even gathered by the, the wonderful witnesses and wonderful folks out there in the social media who sent us videos, who sent us uh, pictures. Some of that, even that evidence helped us to be able to come up with these locations. And McDougal is already inside the Polk County Jail here on an unrelated aggravated assault charge. And of course, once we get the latest information, including when he expects to appear before a judge, we will bring you those latest developments. Reporting live outside the Polk County Jail, Shelby Rose, Fox 26 News. Thank you, Shelby.